I recently got my hands on a DJI Mini quadcopter drone. This is a very light and very small uh, flying camera. It weighs 250 grams and is only really a couple centimeters or inches in size. Uh, despite that, it does a really good job of filming things from the air and uh, in my opinion is a fantastic piece of engineering and technology. Uh, I do have a complaint about it though, and that is how noisy it is. Now, this is the first time I fly a drone, and um, frankly I find the sound it makes atrocious. It's really noisy, it's a horrible screechy sound, and you can hear this thing really far away, despite it actually being really small. So, um, just as a sanity check, I figured that I would compare this thing to another model to see if it really is as noisy as I think it is. What are we going to compare it to? We're going to do it with a helicopter. So, um, the model in question is a clone of a, an Align TRX 450. This is a modified version. It doesn't have a fly bar. And it has a cheap electronic stabilizer on it. It runs on a 5-cell LiPo battery, and uh, the motor runs at full throttle. The control mechanism is very different from that of the drone in that um, it has a variable pitch tail rotor and a swash plate. So all the control comes from changing the pitch in the blades, uh, unlike the drone that changes the speed of the propellers. Uh, evidently this is a really different machine. It also weighs much more. It weighs about 820 grams as opposed to 250. So does it even make sense to compare these machines? Well. Let's continue with the rest of the video to find out. Keep in mind this is a larger and heavier aircraft. We are first going to compare these aircraft while they are hovering. And here's the helicopter. Now we have the drone flying at a distance, and notice the sound. Here is the helicopter at a distance. It is at a lower frequency and different sounds. Now the drone, if we listen to it up close, it, well, it, it's really screechy, and you can hear a lot of interference between the propellers. Now is the helicopter. We hear more of a of a thumping sound, a blade bark from the rotor, and a constant screech from the motor and transmission. So how does this thing sound, or both aircraft sound, when in lateral flight? There's the drone. To my ear, the sound it makes is a consistent screech. It almost sounds like the rotors are forced as they translate. Once it's very far away, it's really not that loud at all, but under it, it sounds almost the same as in a, in a hover, in my opinion. The helicopter, however, begins to sound different. Most dominant sound here is that of the transmission. The rotor is only occasionally heard, and even then it's not a dominant sound. The drone, here it is a slightly closer distance, 
and it still makes this screechy noise. In fact, you can barely hear the, the motors at all. It, it seems like most of the noise is, in fact, just the propellers. Here's the helicopter. Here, the situation reverses somehow. The rotor is basically silent. But the transmission and the motor is not. So, if you orient these aircraft differently, they sound different. Here's the drone from behind. If we listen to it closely, it sounds as if there's an interference and we get a secondary frequency from the screech of the propellers. Now the sound will be different if we rotate the aircraft such that um, the fuselage is at 90 degrees from the observer. I find this to be a much more noisier configuration, and we can hear how there's greater interference between the propellers, or something is going on that makes it louder. We can rotate the aircraft again, and the sound changes. The rotors or the propellers have a more individual sound now rather than before where they had a kind of a, a gurgling interference sound. Despite that we can still hear small changes in the RPM of the propellers. Once more from a side, the sound changes. There's a secondary frequency here that I think is more perceivable. We rotate it again just to notice the difference. And um, it seems the forward and aft position are slightly quieter than the lateral orientation. So let's compare this to a helicopter. Here we have the tail rotor towards us. Here two sounds are dominant. The transmission noise and the interference of the rotor with itself, somehow. With the tail rotor uh, perpendicular to the observer, we, begin to, we can begin to hear it. It's kind of a high-frequency screech. Notice how the sound from the main rotor is at a much lower frequency because it spins slower than on the drone. But it makes less of a gurgling sound as if something as, as if the wake from the rotor is hitting something else. Now 
Now if we rotate it again with the tail rotor away from us, the sound changes. The tail rotor is less perceivable. We can also see that it's only occasionally that the actual rotor makes noise. Besides wind hitting it, it, it really doesn't make much noise at all, and, and it's the transmission that dominates. So if we rotate the aircraft again, exposing the opposite side of the tail rotor, we can begin to hear the high frequency buzz it makes. Despite the tail rotor on this aircraft obviously producing a lot of counter thrust, it is less noisy than the rotors on the drone. Even though it has all the weight from the main rotor hitting it. So what do I think is going on here? My argument here is that a lot of the noise is likely due to mutual interference rather than the rotors being noisy by themselves. That is, if you could actually run these quadcopter motors uh, in isolation up in the sky, they probably wouldn't be all that loud. But if you get them all close together, they get really noisy. So here are some modifications that might reduce the noise created by the uh, rotors in close proximity. For one, we should probably avoid having the tips of the blades get close to each other. So the discs should have a minimum distance to prevent any interference noise. Moreover, that also applies to the fuselage. The tips shouldn't pass anywhere near the fuselage. It's likely unwise to have the discs overlap. Uh, and have a vertical offset between them. Finally, rotating the discs so that they're not parallel to each other might make a big difference because the sound that they generate won't propagate directly into each other. So the uh, likelihood of constructive interference making the sound louder is probably reduced because the waves just don't smash into each other head on.